In this video, I will show you how to automate the first part of Windows installation when you're installing uh, Windows from USB drive. And we will achieve that by adding auto on the file to our USB. And I'm covering only the first part because for fully automated Windows installation, I like to combine auto on the files with provisioning packages that you create with Windows Configuration Designer and I will be making a video about that in the future. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I already created a USB drive that contains Windows installation and I created it using media creation tools. Now let's go to my GitHub. As you can see, uh, I have a design command here that I will explain a bit later. And I also will leave the URL for this GitHub in the description down below. And as you can see here, I have two folders. One is for Windows 10 and one is for Windows 11. So if you want to automate the same process on Windows 10, you can select that and download the configuration there. But for this video, I will be only demonstrating uh, everything with Windows 11. So I will select Windows 11. As you can see here, we have only one file and it's the auto on attempt XML. I will select that. And as you can see here, it's basically an XML configuration file that's necessary to automate the Windows installation. For example, this first part, then this configuration is for creating and preparing the partitions for Windows installation. Here is the screen where you would enter the license key. In this case, I am just keeping it. And this is also an important uh, part. Here we are selecting which image to install from our media. Because our media, depending on where we got it, can have uh, different types of images in, in it. For example, when you are creating your own images, you can have way different name, names than default ones. Uh, in my case, I used uh, Windows Media Creation Tool and it, it has uh, many editions of Windows and it has Windows 11 Pro, which I'm selecting in this file. If you're not sure what to enter here and you didn't use uh, Windows Media Creation Tool, for that, let's go back a bit where we, we have my dism command and let's copy it and open up the terminal screen. Also, I'm pretty sure that you need, it, need to open it as administrator and let's paste in the command. And as you can see here, um, basically the first part is the command itself and some parameters. And in the second part, we need to provide the location for the install.esd or install.wim because depending on where you got it, it could be install.esd or install.wim. Let me show you in File Explorer. Here I have my USB opened and we need to go to sources and we can sort by size because in most cases is the largest file on the USB because it contains the, the Windows images. And as you can see, in my case, it's install.esd.esd and it's, I think, almost always an ESD file when you're using media creation tool. In other cases, if you used uh, other ways to create your USB, it could be install.wim. And this, this command works with both of them. So make sure that the location for the file is correct and that the extension is also correct. And also the drive letter. In my case, it's the E drive. So double check everything and let's enter the command. And now we can see all the images and uh, that uh, this ESD file has. For me, it's seven images. Here we have a few different variations of Pro Edition. There is three of Home Edition and there is two of Education Edition. 
And if we go back to our auto attend file, as you can see, when I'm selecting by name, it's Windows 11 Pro. So in my case, this will be this image right here. So if you would like to install Windows Home, you could copy the name here and enter it and replace it with this name. Okay, so for the next part, we need to download this file and we can do that by clicking on this button, download the raw file. And now let's go to our downloads folder. And the only thing that we need to do now is to move this file to our Windows installation USB drive. And from this moment, this drive is kind of dangerous because if by accident you have, you would restart your computer and it, the USB would be plugged into it, it might start the Windows installation automatically and you would be a very unhappy viewer with freshly installed Windows. And that's it. That's all basically what we need to do uh, to complete the first part of the Windows installation. And to demonstrate that, I will use Window, I mean, VMware Workstation. I will connect the USB that I have created. Now I have to restart the virtual machine. and boot from the USB device. So I'll boot from it and let's see what happens. As you can see here, it already started loading the Windows installation from the USB drive. And this is what I mean by it being dangerous. It loaded the USB drive and instantly started installing Windows. Uh, after it's done, I will show you how to make it a little bit less dangerous by adding a screen where we will select the image that we want to install. So let's wait and see what happens now. And as you can see here, it installed Windows up to the out of the box experience without requiring any input from us. So for the next part of this video, let's edit the auto on attend file for it to be a little bit less dangerous. But first I will restore my virtual machine back to the state that it was before in the BIOS because I made a snapshot for that. And let's go back to our USB drive. And here we need to add the, the auto attend file. I will use Visual Studio in this case, but you can uh, use any other text editor. And here we could remove the disk configuration and it would ask us to do that manually. But I suggest that we remove the install from. In most cases, this will make uh, this installation even better because it will allow us to select which image that we want to install every time that the USB is loaded. So for this demonstration, I will just select this uh, part of the configuration and delete it. And I will save the file. And <clears throat> now basically what will happen, it will get stuck on the image selection screen and it will not do the disconfiguration because this configuration comes after the image selection screen. So let's 
see how it looks. I will connect my USB once more. And then I will boot from it. It started loading Windows. And as you can see, it loaded the installation media. And instead of completing everything automatically, it stopped at the image selection screen. And it didn't uh, mess up our partitions. Everything is the same as bef before loading the uh, installation media. We can also double check that by opening a command prompt by clicking shift and F10. And I will go to disk part and then type list volume. Yeah, so the only volume is our USB device. So no partitions have been created. And if you had partitions, they would not uh, be deleted. So in some cases, this option is even better because it's more universal. Now you can select which image uh, you want to install. Also, the same auto on a 10 file would work with Windows 10, no problems. Just instead of Windows 11 here, you would see the Windows 10 images. And uh, to continue the installation, we only need to select uh, the image that we want to install. In this case, I will install Windows 11 Pro and click Next. And as you can see, it started immediately copying the files. So that's it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.